Hey, Steve Zonardi here with Treviso Realty. We're in Ibis Landing. This is another Lennar community. This is a golf community. Uh, a lot of interesting, it's a very interesting story how Lennar uh, took the site over, but we'll talk about that in another video. This behind me here is a Trevi model, Trevi 2, a very popular model. Let's have a look at it. Uh, this is usually a four bedroom, three bathroom. I haven't walked into the house yet, but let's see how they spec this one out. So usually a Trevi is just basically a Venice with, with a bump out in the front to make the fourth bedroom. But here we'll start off into the third and fourth bedroom. Oh, this is actually just so one bedroom up here at rather, sorry. So Trevi 2, I'm not sure what that uh, entails. Obviously it's gonna be a different design. So we've got one bedroom in the front. You got your uh, full bathroom here. If you kind of see the finishes are a little bit different than um, uh, the community that we just came back from, Savannah Lakes. Um, so cool. This, how you doing, buddy? Let's go ahead. So this is your loft area here, or not your loft? This is your uh, your flex room. Yeah. So that would be considered. Yeah. So this is a little different model. So this is going to be your fourth bedroom here. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, very different. Yeah. So so again, this would be in the Venice the same same position. This would be the third be uh, bedroom and it's going to have a full bathroom. They're going to, so it's only got a, uh, it's a powder room now, but I would imagine because it's the model home, this usually would get a bathtub. Okay, so this is going to be, this is going to be your laundry usually, like laundry into your garage. This is obviously the model home, right? Yeah, so that's different. Usually the Trevi, they have them back to back, third and fourth bedroom. Now they put a flex room in between, which is cool. Um, yeah, this is your, your grand opening. Um, so this has changed here. So before the Trevi had um, this, this section here was cut off. Now they've extended one cabinet. We just did a deal with clients uh, in Timber Creek and they changed the model after we signed the contract, which was kind of scary. I hoping that it was going to be a good model because obviously we bought it. Um, but it, it turned out well because now the kitchen's a lot bigger. Usually they had a pantry on this side um, and then they had double uh, walk-in closets in the master which they've changed it. But so now they moved the pantry out here, which is good. It's actually a, a lot better model because now their kitchen's a lot larger, right? Bigger island, the, the, the stoves uh, or the, rather the fridge is uh, pushed out, a uh, little coffee station so it's more, uh, more of a tranquil area and then it opens up all of the uh, countertops. Yeah, so this all remains the same. Difference between a Trevi and a Venice, you're gonna lose a foot in your uh, living space here, but ultimately you get a fourth bedroom. This one, I kinda like this with the flex room, um, like the den area, you can either utilize that as a bedroom or, um, or clearly use it as a den, an office. This is your master bedroom. So before, these Trevis used to have two master bedrooms, uh, or two master uh, closets on either end, now they just kind of, um, combined it into one, which was, which makes more sense. We're using this as a photocopy room, but yeah, so now you get just one large closet. Like this is more than enough. Once you do all shelves, like his and hers will be in here and no problem. And it'll have uh, no issues. Let me see, so yeah, so impact glass. So you see more of these uh, elder communities in a sense. You started doing white, white trim around uh, the windows. This is a golf course community. And so with the rejig, so that's why they probably call it the Trevi 2, they rejig this because what, what, what it used to be was um, there was a water closet here and then what happened here, there was a big bathroom. There was like a closet here, like a linen closet, and then there was a big shower that really made no sense. So now they just did a half wall with a half glass um, and it's a lot more functional for sure. It's a way better layout than what we have because we own a similar property to this. We found these things to be a little prob problematic. Um, just tell your, your construction manager to put some glue here. This is what, why the flex is here. We had this on our, uh, on our Timber Creek property we bought for our clients. So that's why you have that little wobble there. But anyway, I'm just a little picky. But, but you can fix that, that's fixable. So you don't have no more uh, slag. Um, that's it, so we'll go take a look at the backyard quickly. Again, three into uh, into one panel, or two into one panel rather. Doors, roll away doors. That's it, get your little pool here. 
this looks like a problem from up north. <laughs> Some freeze and thaw cycle here. Yeah, so obviously something has to be resettled, but it's all good. It's not how your house will look like. That's it. So yeah, uh, generic pool, but I like it. A good rectangle. I think there's a lot more swimming space here than having any kidney or anything like that. Um, and this is probably what they've basically done here is basically told you uh, or showing you what you're going to get if you get a generic uh, pool and spa package. So this is really nice. You got a spillover edge here. Um, and again, this this dubs as a hot tub too. They call it a, a spa, but it's it's basically a hot tub. So what? <laughs> I'll fall through here. Um, so what happens is there, there's on the on the side of the house there's a switch. You're going to drop the water down in the uh, spa area and just turn on the heater just to heat this area here. So then you can kind of you know use it as a hot tub too. And then when it's not on, the water rises back up and it just kind of flows uh, the pool water in and out. So kind of it becomes like more congruent. But it's good. It's a little spillover. Nice. Um, that's it. We're going to uh, go to the next model. There's some villas down the street. We're going to head those up. Or actually, there's one model next door. Um, that's a Somerville, so a larger model. Then we're going to hit the villas down the street. So uh, we'll get you the next one.